Hi, I'm John from Chatamize, and in this video, I will explain what OpenAI is and how we can use OpenAI inside our own ManyChat automations. Let's dive in. So what is OpenAI? OpenAI is a tool that uses artificial intelligence to answer any question you might have. So you can just ask any question to OpenAI and it will always come up with a smart response. So if you just go to chat.openai.com, you need to sign up for an account, but it is free. But I already have an account, so normally you would click on sign up and I will just now click on log in. And then I will continue with my Google account, go with info at Chatamize, and now I am logged in. And we can basically ask any question to this and it always has a good response. So for example, we can ask, what is the currency of Italy? And then we'll say, okay, the currency of Italy is the Euro. And then we'll also give you some information about the Euro. And you could ask like anything, like we could also like say, okay, generate a breakfast recipe in three sentences. Like you can be very specific, like crack two eggs into a bowl and it will just give you all the explanations you need. You can even generate code with it. Like it's like the possibilities with OpenAI are basically endless. The only thing where I have found where OpenAI is not that good is with the latest news. So for example, if we ask, did Elon Musk buy Twitter? Then we'll say, no, Elon Musk did not buy Twitter. And as you might know, Elon Musk bought Twitter. So why is this generating this response? And this is because OpenAI has been trained on data. And it has been trained on data up to July 2022. And at that time, Elon Musk didn't buy Twitter yet. He had bought Twitter. So with the latest news, OpenAI is not that good. But just with general questions or writing complete blog posts, OpenAI is actually pretty good. So in this video, I want to show you how we can connect ManyChat to OpenAI so that we can use this advanced AI system inside our ManyChat automations. And we're going to ask, okay, what information do you want to send to OpenAI? So we're going to ask, okay, what question do you have for OpenAI? Then we're going to send that information to OpenAI and then send the response back inside ManyChat and use it inside our chatbot. And to make that integration, we are going to use Make. And Make is an integration platform which was formerly known as Integromat. And you can use this platform to connect almost any application to another application that you might know. So what we're going to do is we're going to ManyChat and we're going to Automation and we're going to click on New Flow. And I will call this OpenAI and click on Create. And then here we're going to add a message. And for now we'll go with Messenger, but this will work on any channel. You can use this on Messenger, Instagram, uh, Telegram, WhatsApp, any channels in the future, this will all work it for. And then we're going to use the user input element, I'm going to remove this. And then we're going to say, what do you want to ask to open AI? This will be a text and we're going to save it to the open AI prompt because that's what it's called in OpenAI itself. So we're going to add this, click on create and then the next step will be thank you I am now sending this to OpenAI dot 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 and then we're going to add an action and this action will trigger IntegroMod or make but in ManyChat it's still called IntegroMod so if you just scroll down, then here you have the trigger IntegraMod action. And it could be the case that this action is not showing up at your end. And that is when you haven't connected ManyChat to Make before. I've connected ManyChat to Make before, so that's why it's already showing up. But I will now show you how you can let this show up inside ManyChat. So what you need to do is you need to go to chatomize.com slash make. And this will bring you directly to the Make website and here you can create a new account. It will also get one month of the pro plan for free. There's also a free plan. You know, I'm using Make also for free. So you can just go with the free plan. And um, I will just log in because I already have an account. 
and then I can create a new scenario here on the on the top right and the first thing that is going to trigger this automation is that we're going to watch the data from ManyChat so here we can click on the plus and go for ManyChat and then here we need to click the watch the incoming data and then you need to choose a hook and because I've used ManyChat before I already have a hook but what you need to do is you need to click on add and then I already also have a ManyChat connection you probably don't so we're going to create a new ManyChat connection so I can just show you how this works and then we need an access token and in order to get that access token you need to go back to ManyChat go to settings and then you need to scroll down to API and then you need to copy this API key so I just copy it and then I'm going to paste it over here and click on save. So now this is working and I will call this webhook the open AI so that we can recognize it and click on save. And then we are going to click on OK and also click on save here. Then if we go back to ManyChat, then here we can refresh this page. And if we go to actions, then it will always appear here. So if it didn't appear before, it should appear now. Then we're going to click on trigger integral mod and we're going to choose the open AI webhook. And then we can click on publish. So to check whether this is working correctly, we're going to click on run once and then we're going to preview this. So I'm going to preview it and open this inside messenger. And then we'll ask, okay, what do you want to ask to open AI? Then I will say, uh, what is the currency of Italy? And then it says, thank you. I'm now sending this to open AI. And then we can check, yes, this has come true because it's showing like a check. And we can also look at the data. This has been sent. There's a lot of data here. Um, so yeah, that's working. So the next step is actually to add open AI. So you can click on this plus here, click on add an item module and we go for open AI and click on it. And then here we need to select create a completion and we need to add our open AI connection. And I already did this, so I already have an open AI connection, but what you basically need to do is click on add and then here you need to add your API key. So what you need to do for this is you need to go to beta.openai.com and then here you go to the right top, click on it, and then go to view API keys. And then here you need to add a new API key. You need to copy this and then paste it over there and click on save. So now you connected it and then you need to fill in the information that we want to send to OpenAI. So in order to do that, I advise to go to the playground because all the information we need is actually right here. So which model do we want to use? We want to use the Text Da Vinci 003. So this is the Text Da Vinci 003. What will be the prompt? The prompt is the question that we want to ask to OpenAI. So in this case, that will be the thing that we're sending from ManyChat. So you can click on this, and then here you will see all the ManyChat variables we have. So here we can search for OpenAI, and then here we have the open AI prompt. Then we have the max tokens. So we will just use all the default settings. So that is 256, 256. What will be the temperature? 0.7, the top P and the N. So the top P is one and the N is also one. It's the same as best of and the echo will be empty. So that will be it for now. So I'll just click on OK. So what it does now is that it will watch the incoming data from ManyChat, then it will send it to OpenAI, and then we want to send that data back from OpenAI to ManyChat. So what we are going to do is we're going to add a custom field with the OpenAI response, and we're going to store the value of OpenAI inside that custom field. So if we go back to settings in ManyChat, then here we can go to the fields 
and we're going to add a new user field which is called OpenAI response click on create and then we want to use that field inside our flow so what we're going to do is then here after the trigger integral mod what we're going to do is we're going to add a smart delay because sometimes it, it takes a bit for that make has actually did the automation so this will at max we will just wait 10 seconds and then we're going to say here is the open AI response and then we're going to add that custom field open AI response and then we can hit publish and if we go to make and then here we need to add another module click on ManyChat and set a custom field and the custom field will be for the subscriber ID will be this one and the field ID will be open AI response and the value will be under choices here you have the text and that's basically it so now we're going to hit save and we want to run it again so we're going to click on run once and here we're going to preview it this will trigger messenger what do you want to ask to open ai what is the currency of italy thank you i'm now sending this to open ai i'll just zoom in a bit then i'm going to wait now 10 seconds then we can just check whether it's coming true it did come true we have all the checks here and then here it says the currency of italy is the euro and that's it now it is working so if we go back to make and then we need to activate it so this was this was the one i did before and this was the one i just created in this video and now we can trigger this every time so if we just click on preview we'll go to messenger what do you want to ask to open ai i can say okay generate a breakfast recipe in two sentences and then it will send this to OpenAI via the Make platform. It will wait for 10 seconds and then it will send back the recipe in just two sentences. So this will be just appearing and there it is. So this is actually a great feature that you can use inside your chatbot. And the possibilities are endless. For example, if you have a blog about recipes, you could add this to your chatbot and add like a recipe generator. Or if you're running a fitness brand, then maybe someone is asking about new ways to train his muscles. Then you can add a muscle generator, a muscle exercise generator, say like something like that. And like the most general use case is, for example, when your chatbot does not understand a question, you could add OpenAI to answer that question like as a backup. So as I already said, the possibilities with OpenAI and ManyChat are endless. The last thing I want to show you is actually how cheap this is because it is not free OpenAI but it is free up to a certain extent. So if you go to uh, beta.openai then here you can uh, click on manage account and then you can show you the daily usage. So for example today I did almost over 62 requests and I only need to pay like two cents and the first $18 are also free. So right now I don't have to pay anything, but you can have lots of requests for not that much money. And then after it will like cut, don't cost you much and they uh, actually have a complete pricing page. So this is actually great. It's really uh, simple to use. Like it's two cents per 1K tokens and how longer the response is, how more tokens you need to pay. But as I said, it's really cheap to use, but that's it. That's how you can use OpenAI inside your ManyChat automations. And if you have enjoyed this video, please like it and also click on the subscribe button. And as always, if you have any questions on how you need to use OpenAI or ManyChat, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.